Hello everybody, welcome to Grow420 TV. This is James, and I hope you guys had a great week. So on this week's show, we're going to be getting our plants ready to go into flower. We gave it a little bit more vegetation time to try to get up through the net, and now we're going to remove a little bit more of the lower growth down at the bottom of the plant, or continue our lollipopping. Again, lollipopping is a process where we remove the lower growth of the plant so the plant can focus its energy and nutrients on making bigger, better buds up at the top where it gets good light. And we're simply cutting back the leaf and inner node growth of the plant. As an example, here's one of our inner node branches that are growing and we want to cut this part of the plant off so the plant doesn't make a flower down here and makes bigger flowers up at the top of our canopy. As our plants are getting ready to go into flower, we are going to add more fertilizers to the plant. We're going to add our down to earth rose and flower 484 mixture. Our plants are grown in a five gallon container and we have a two tablespoon scoop. We're going to add a total of 10 tablespoons to each plant. That's five scoops. It's a very easy process. We simply scoop our fertilizers right onto our plant and all of our plants here are grown organically in organic cocoa choir. We simply rub the fertilizers directly into the soil of the plant. And that's it. It's very easy to do. And of course we do add water to our plants after we add our fertilizers. And all of our water is pH between 6.5 and 6.8. So it looks like everybody here is all set and ready to go and we're gonna switch the lights on these plants today. So in the next coming weeks, we'll be able to see some nice buds growing. And now that our three x three tent is getting flowered out and ready to harvest, we're gonna start planting some new seeds for our three x three tent. We're gonna do a round of Don't Fear the Sativa. So we're gonna have the Blue Dream from Garden of Green. And our sativa plants do take a little bit longer. This one is saying 65 to 70 days before it flowers. For our seedlings, we simply take a cup and fill it with organic cocoa choir that's been amended with down to earth organic amendments we plant our seed right into the soil. And since our other laughing Buddha seed did not start or did not germinate, we're gonna go ahead and plant another laughing Buddha seed. It's the last one that I have in this package, so I hope this one goes. We really love this particular strain. It's like laughing gas, it's great. And because it's one of our favorite strains, we're going to give it a little laughing Buddha statue. Maybe that'll help it grow. And this one I'm really excited about from Ace Seeds. This is a killer A5 haze. I can't wait for this one to go. And I hope it comes in really strong too. 63 to 84 days for flower. So again, we just make a little hole in our soil and then add our seed directly to the soil and then cover it up. And the last one that we're gonna have and certainly not the least is the Hawaii Maui Wowie. Oh yeah, I can't wait. This is gonna be fantastic. 
the Maui Wowie is an all-time classic. We've got a whole round of wonderful seeds and wonderful sativas that are going to come out. But this one, yeah, I can't wait for this one. 9 to 11 weeks, it's worth it. We do take all of our clear cups and put it into a colored cup to protect the roots from any of our grow lights. Now heading over to our 3x3 three three tent, all I can say is wow! This is our Gorilla Glue crossed with the cookies from Expert Seeds. It's beautiful! The trichomes on it, fully developed, cloudy. The smell on this plant is really a dank, kind of sweet little smell to it. It's like someone mixed up sugar and mud together. And our Persephone plant certainly is not lacking in any way. A matter of fact, when I look at both of these plants, I, I don't know which one looks better. They're both so beautiful. I really want to smoke both of them right now. Yeah, these are gorgeous looking flowers. I'm very excited. And yeah, our 3x3 tent is really finishing up very well. The 1 to 1 plant that we had in here got harvested last week. And it's looking like these plants are going to be ready to go into their 48 hours of darkness. The way we determine that is by checking the trichomes of the plant. The trichomes are what's going to determine when we harvest the plant. The trichomes are the little crystals that start growing on the plant and you need to look at them very closely to see whether or not they've gone from clear to cloudy and then from cloudy they'll turn to amber. When they turn amber that's when they're starting to degrade. We usually take a look at these with a little jeweler's loop. And then we'll take an even closer look with a small microscope. And our small microscope is showing us that we've got some very beautiful cloudy trichomes all over both of these plants. And you can see just a little bit of amber starting to show in our trichomes. These plants are ready. This is perfect. Picture perfect trichomes. It's ready to harvest our plants right now. And these are some beautiful flowers. We've had a wonderful grow on this 3x3 three three tent. And this is the first grow that we've been able to show you guys from when they were in the vegetation stage all the way to flower. If you want to know how I feel about it, if I'm excited, ah, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Happy dance time. Total happy dance. Oh, man, I can't wait. No, really, I really can't wait. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So it is time to give our plants 48 hours of darkness before we start to harvest. So the lights are going to get turned off on this and we're going to close up the grow tent and we'll come back after 48 hours and we'll start to cut down the plant and harvest it. So I want to take a moment and thank everybody who's been watching and enjoying our show. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see everybody next week.